Hey YouTube, it is me, Shayna with ThickersCloset.com and welcome back to my channel. As always, love having you guys here. Now I'm back with another video and we are teaming up again with Nasty Gal and Magic Links to bring you one of my first fall videos of 2020. Fall is one of my favorite seasons of the year because you actually have like temperature control just a little bit. You know, you could do layers and colors. It's always fun. So I love fall and I'm really, really excited. This is going to be my first video for the fall season. And I got some really, really good stuff in this video. Trust me, you're going to like it. So get your coins ready because y'all know I got you in the description box with the links. Okay. <laughs> so I cannot wait to show you guys what I have. And yes, I am teaming up with Nasty Gal and Magilinks again for this video. You guys show me so much love on my Nasty Gal videos. So thank you so, so, so much for that. I have, this is my third video with Nasty Gal. So I already have my thoughts and my feelings about Nasty Gal as a brand in terms of sizing and fit. I will link the first video in the eye above as well as in the description box for you to check it out if you are new to me and to Nasty Gal as a brand. Now, if you have never seen this lovely face before, hi, welcome. I am Shayna of ethicosclosset.com. I have a little bit of everything here on the channel, so you should go ahead and hit that red button down below and subscribe to my channel because I'm awesome. My subscribers are super duper awesome and you just come on in and join the awesome family. We love a little, we love new people around here. We love new folks, okay? <laughs> but if you were Ozzy, but a goodie, uh -huh. You know, I have nothing but love you. So please, everybody go ahead and hit the bell notification down below. So that way you are notified every single time I upload a new video here on my channel. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and check out these nasty gal clothes for fall. All right, let's get this thing started. So we're going to go in basically in order, not order, but I put looks together because I feel like it was easier for me to be able to talk about fit based off of how it would have, I would have wore it in my brain. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. <laughs> So we're going to start with the very classic basic look. It's a peplum top and a pair of jeans. Now, usually when I do my nasty gal hauls, I have to do, I do have to have some sort of denim included. Y'all know how I am about denim. And I got these basic black skinny jeans. Now, unfortunately, they're not skinny as I would have liked them to be, specifically around the ankle portion. Now, for those of you who are new to me, I am six feet tall. So length of jeans on me is always a, a just, it's just never going to work. And Nasty Gal and I do not get along in terms of height, in terms of length. So that's just what it's going to be. But I do know that uh, wintertime, fall time, I wear boots anyway. So length doesn't really become too much of a problem for skinny jeans. So I got very basic black jeans here and it has the knee cut out, uh, cut out right around the knee area here, which sits above my knee because I'm tall. So <laughs> This was going to be. I got them in a US 20. So I got these in a US 20. I love the fit. I They fit perfectly fine. I have no beef with how they fit me. Um, There's a decent amount of stretch. Not too much, but not, it doesn't like constrict you in any way. So I do like that. Sits pretty high and has a nice long zipper, which is always a big deal for me. All of the pockets are functional. Thank you. Listen, folks know around here, I don't do unfunctional pockets on jeans. I hate it. If you're going to give me pockets, let me put my hand in my pocket, please. Thank you. All right. That's all I'm asking. I ain't asked for a lot here. Okay. Do fit really well. In terms of length, as I said, you guys, they don't really work for me at my height, but if you are average or shorter, you might actually really enjoy the length. So I would say definitely give them a try. And I paired them with a very basic peplum top. Now online, when I saw it, it looked much more orangey than it is in person. So it's much more of a muted uh, brown situation, but I love it. Okay. Now peplum tops are a staple in most plus brands collections. Now hear what I'm telling y'all, because I don't want y'all here running around acting crazy. If you prefer to cover your stomach or you prefer to, you know, camouflage the tummy area, get yourself a peplum top. But it is, this top really looked so nice on me. I loved how it fit. I love the length. I love kind of like these nice pronounced, the pronounced sleeve here. It is, it has a nice little like line detailing around the neck area. So this will sit here. And then you have two long strings in the back that you must tie in order for the top to stay closed or else the top is going to fall down. You're going to look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and there is slight elastic here around the waist. Not really a necessity per se, but it does make the top fit a little bit more on uh, a little more comfortable. So I do like that as well. 
But overall, this is a very nice top, super lightweight, perfect over a pair of jeans. You can wear over a pencil skirt, which I used to do back in the day all the time. A pep on top of a pencil skirt, I used to kill that look great for a date night, girls night, brunch, whatever it is you got going on. You got options. Mm -hmm. All right, we are moving on to look number two here. Now, this look I really had in my brain. It was such a bummer that it did not come together in the way that I had hoped it would, mainly because the top does not fit. But we're gonna start with the bottoms first because I've always wanted a pair of something like this and I'm very, very happy that I have it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a pair of faux leather brown pants. Oh my God. I'm excited. <laughs> so these are a beautiful, like they're more of a like a um, muted chocolate brown. Like they're fantastic. They do make you hot. So if you live in chillier climates, you might like these. These might be a little bit too hot right now. And for those of you who live in warmer climates, that doesn't matter though, because the weather's about to shift anyway. So it's cool. But <laughs> I'm obsessed with these. I have them in a US 20 and I love the fit. Now they look a little bit baggy, they look a little bit funny, but pants like these take a little bit of getting used to, okay? But I will say getting them on and buttoning them were supremely easy to do. I didn't have to fight with these pants at all. I had to do no wiggles, no like, you know, squat, jump and button. None of that had to take place. These fit perfectly i love the wide leg like what i might do honestly is just get these tailored to be more of a gaucho because i think that will look better in terms of like the cut on me but either way i'm really 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 happy with these pants now they only have two front pockets there are no back pockets and they do have belt loops in case you want to tuck a top in and then wear belt loops i may end up doing that because i really want to be able to get like a lot of decent wear out of these pants it's very, very on trend, which I do like. And, and faux leather tends to come back around every year anyway. So it's something you could definitely wear this season and definitely well into like fall 2021. And if not longer than that. Now, my idea was to pair it with like this wrap blazer top. However, this was entirely too small on me. And I thought I got it in my size unless I confused. Yeah, I did. I got this in 18, but it did not fit me whatsoever like it was bulging around the bust area like the one button was able to close but i look crazy it just didn't lay how i thought it would i like the concept of this i most certainly probably would wear this open however comma the look that i was going for it just did not come together but i do know i have another blazer wrap top somewhere in this house so i definitely will figure it out but um either way i do like the color of it i love they had shoulder pads so it kind of gives you like this chic kind of you know 80s vibe which again is coming back around these days but overall i think it's a very nice idea i think if this were to fit me properly i would wear the hell out of this blazer top because it's moving on i do have uh, a shirt dress you all know my love for a good shirt dress now this particular one gave me the most chuckle i think i've ever had in my life because it reminds me of was it napoleon ice cream that's what <laughs> that's what came to mind when i saw it and i was like i have to have this but like actually i'm kind of obsessed okay like so it is a corduroy first of all corduroy can we talk about the fact that it's corduroy <laughs> i'm about to be out here just <laughs> annoying the hell out of people and i'm all for it so this is what it looks like this is the dress here. So I told you it looks like Napoleon ice cream, right? So there's the chocolate, there's the vanilla, and then there's the strawberry. <laughs> I crack myself up, but yeah, I'm obsessed with this thing. Now, I got this in a uh, US 20 because I wanted it to be nice and baggy and that's what that was the look I was going for and I'm very, very happy that I did. I love this thing. It is fun, it's funky, it's super duper on trend, it fits really 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 well and then the butt the sleeves are you can obviously button them as you need to i kept mine unbuttoned and rolled them up as i needed to but i love me a good shirt dress i don't know about y'all but there's so many things you could do with a shirt dress like you could wear it as a dress you could wear it as a top you could wear it with some shorts you could wear it with some jeans you could dress it up dress it down like there's so many things you could do with a shirt dress um i did i did a series on my instagram which i'll link down below for you guys where i wore another shirt dress from a different brand and i wore it five different ways got a lot of wear out of it like i mean it's totally worth it so 
So I don't see why you couldn't do the same thing with this. I think this also came in a different color pattern as well. But I mean, Napoleon ice cream kind of just fits my soul because I love ice cream. So that's just what it's going to be. Now, so I paired it with my Reebok Classics. I'm obsessed with those sneakers and I love how the look came out. All right whoa that was my face i love how the look came together as a whole and the bag that i have is uh from amazon which i'll link that down below as well and it wouldn't be me if i did not get a blazer dress the very first video i did with nasty girl i had a blazer dress and then i had to go ahead and get another blazer dress because i'm shayna and that's what the hell i do okay now i got this one in uh, did i go up a size uh i did not so i got this in a us 20s technically i did go up a size but um i it is a very basic blazer dress so i really did try to keep as soon as i took it out of the out of the package i hung it up so it wouldn't be too wrinkled i failed it is what it is y'all y'all know me by now i'm obsessed with a double breasted blazer dress now it on me it is a little on the short side but again you guys y'all know how tall i am so length is going to always look crazy on me i will say if you are short or average head you'll be fine in terms of length however comma if you are more well endowed in the back this would probably uh shorten even more specific specifically in the back so i would be very careful with what you put underneath this but if you don't want to wear it as a dress, you can wear it as a oversized blazer, which is also, again, very, very on trend. It is lined. So it has another lining in here. So you're not going to be out here with like cheap see-through clothing. Super duper lightweight. Has shoulder pads, which I thought was really fun. I mean, I mean, at one point in time, I'm sure all of us made fun of our mothers for wearing shoulder pads. But I mean, I know I did. I can't see nobody else. But okay. Sorry, moms. I'm totally down with the shoulder pads. All right. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but very very simple to put together there is an inside button here clear that you obviously can't see and then you just keep it closed with the two double breasted and you kind of wear it like that and i paired it with a pair of simple uh sock booties that i had from that i got from payless like years ago which always come in handy i'll link some similar versions in the description box down below for you guys but i loved how this look came together so and the last look was something that I've been wanting to kind of put together for myself for the longest time because I've been in this space of wanting to be more adventurous with my fashion choices. Not so commercial, not so much glamour. This look, I'm actually kind of mixing together two different kinds of looks or of aesthetics here. So the first piece that I have, you guys see it together, is going to be this slip dress. Now, you all know how I feel about slip dresses. This is my third slip dress from Nasty Gal, and clearly they are doing me well. I love everything about the slip dresses. Now, this is a super sexy black one that I got here, and it has the strings on the side so you can make it shorter or longer and when I tell you it is sexy baby. okay it has this wonderful like cowl neck uh neckline here with two spaghetti straps that are both adjustable and they stretch which I thought was really really nice now the back is not open unlike the other two that I've had a very it's a very simple you know throw slinky dress you throw on over your body and you go from there and then you go ahead and style it how you need to now this dress i actually purchased with my own coins because i was going to a party and i did wear it to the party but i didn't take any pictures in it which is quite a surprise to me <laughs> so this one they did not send to me i did pay for this one and i'm actually very happy that i did because i have a lot of ideas for this dress in particular and i think i i got this one uh, i want to say a us 20 if i'm not mistaken Yes, a US 20, because their slip dresses tend to run small on me, so I always go up a size, which is why I got the 20, because typically I would have gotten an 18, but nice to be a little funny, so I'd rather have the extra room than to be out here with clothes that are too small. <laughs> and then I threw on over the top this magnificent trench coat. Now, let me tell you, I, I am... I am the person that these brands make ads for because I have been, Facebook had been showing me these nasty gal ads for like a few weeks and I kept seeing this trench coat and I was like, I'm gonna buy this trench coat. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. And then end up doing a collab with them. And then I was like, no, we gotta get the trench coat. Gotta have the trench coat because I wanted it so badly. So I paired, obviously these, the trench coat with the dress are two very separate ends of the spectrum here, but for me it works. And that's kind of the idea of what I was going for, like pairing like this urban look over something sleek and sexy. 
And I got this in a US 18 because it's a lot of coat. It is cut very generously. It's a lot of coat. It's supposed to be big. It's supposed to hang. So I did not want to go up too big and I'm actually glad that I did not do that. It feels really nicely. It's a lot going on, but it is double breasted. All the buttons are completely functional. Then you have kind of like this overlay flat thing going on here. You have a nice long belt that reaches all the way around my body. Thank you, Nasty Gal, because some brands be out here playing with you. Okay. And then it does have very, very nice deep pockets, which I, again, really did like so i actually you probably could swing this and wear this as a as a dress too if i wanted to the material just feels like it's going to be great in different kinds of weather like it's lined like it's just it's so good and in the trial on porch you saw i paired it with my vans i am as much as i love heels i am a sneaker girl at heart so i want to start incorporating more sneakers into my wardrobe into my looks overall and i want to pose a challenge to all of you folks out there for those of you who are sneaker heads based on what you know about Shayna I'll put a little sneaker emoji right here suggest and comment sneakers you think that I should go ahead and buy let me know so there you have it you guys that was my nasty gal fall try on haul I hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know what you thought about this video in the comment section down below which pieces were your favorite which one would you buy and wear let me know let me know let me know thank you so much to the nasty gal and the magic links team for sponsoring this video it is always appreciated you guys come through for the come through for your girl and I appreciate you for it <laughs> <laughs> but you guys know the deal. If there are any other brands or collections you would like me to try on here on my channel, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll either go in store, which we can do now, go online or do both and get that video up for you as soon as I possibly can. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Deuces guys.